Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to make this uh, cute uh, Christmas tree ornament, a bow. Uh, it's not big, it's about uh, four inches tall, including the loop hanger, and is uh, quick and easy to make. I am going to use this cotton thread uh, size 10 and uh, the hook, which is almost two millimeters. We will start here at the center and then we will work counterclockwise. We'll start with chain nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And uh, we'll make a ring using a slip stitch like this. And uh, now we'll make uh, 14 single crochet stitches uh, in this circle. We'll start with chain one, uh, which will count as the first single crochet. And now including this thread in our block, we'll start making single crochet stitches. This will be number two, uh, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, uh, thirteen, fourteen. And um, we'll make uh, a slip stitch in this first. Uh, chain that we made at the beginning of this round okay ready now we can cut off this thread uh, we don't need it anymore now we are going to make three rows in each of these upper sides of the bow and five rows here each row will have uh, double crochet stitches here and here except for the last uh, four rows which will be uh, triple crochet stitches we'll start with chain three as the first double crochet and in the same space we'll make another double crochet and now two double crochets in the next uh, single crochet so we have four double crochets. In the next row, there will also be four double crochets, but they are going to be separated by chain one. So we'll start with chain three and chain one for separation of those stitches. Now we'll make another double crochet, chain one, another double crochet, chain one and the last the fourth double crochet will go in the third chain that we made at the beginning of the previous round like this and now on these four stitches we are going to make seven triple crochet stitches we'll start with chain four as the first triple crochet now we are going to make the next one here in this space between the double crochets one two three okay the next one will go in this double crochet one two three the next one in this space one two three the next one in the double crochet one two three one more in this space made by um, uh, this chain one one two three and the last one will go in the third chain one two three so we have seven triple crochet stitches we are here now and we need to get to this central ring 
uh, we have two choices one choice is uh, to cut off the thread and uh, um, uh, join it here and continue work from this part um, I however don't like to cut thread too much so I'm just going to be using slip stitches to get to the central ring I'll start with chain one and then using just one or two threads I'm going to make those slip stitches try not to make this side too tight so I'll make about four here then about three where we have a double crochet stitch and one more here and uh, three where there is another double crochet stitch it's all going to be covered later so it's not as important how many threads you take and now we approach the central ring we are going to first make a slip stitch in the next single crochet and another slip stitch in the following single crochet so here we are kind of skipping one single crochet we are not working in it and we'll start doing the same as we did here the first two rounds are uh, the first two rows are identical so we'll start with uh, chain three this is the first double crochet and the second one in the same space and in the next single crochet two double crochets now chain three is the first double crochet and chain one for separation and three more double crochets one separated by chain one uh, two and uh, the third one goes in the third chain Uh, we are here now and uh, we are going to make two extra rounds that uh, are not here in this part uh, the first one will be the row of nine double crochet stitches and the next one of five double crochets separated by chain one so we'll make one two three chain three as the first double crochet and now we'll make another double crochet in the same space here because we are going to um widen the work a little so the same space one more now the next double crochet will go in this space between double crochets the next one in the next double crochet one between one in the next one one between the stitches and the two uh, will go in the third chain one and two this way we have made nine double crochets chain three and chain one we are going to skip the first double crochet and we'll make a double crochet in the next stitch chain one skip one make a double crochet chain one skip one make a double crochet and the chain one will skip the stitch and will make the double crochet in the third chain okay like this
and the last row of this part like here is the row of uh, triple crochet stitches but instead of seven we'll have nine of them here so we'll start with chain four the next stitch will go in this space one two three the next in the next stitch one two three one in the space between the stitches of the previous round one in this stitch one two three one in the space one two three one in this stitch again one in the space one two three and uh, one in this third chain that's it now we have the same two choices cut off the thread or make slip stitches i'm choosing the second way so after chain one i'm making very loose uh, slip stitches four here in this triple crochet and three in each of the next double crochets that we have on this side once again, not important what thread you use. It's all going to be covered. Three here. And three here. Then we have this last double crochet and we go to the central ring we'll make a slip stitch and this time we are not going to skip any single crochets we are going to start working right away with chain three and a double crochet in the same spot and in the next single crochet will make two double crochet and now we are going to repeat the pattern so three plus one chain three plus one and then we'll make uh, a double crochet another double crochet and another double crochet in the third chain these are separated by chain one now we'll need to make nine double crochets so one two three and we need to make another uh, double crochet in the same spot so now we have two one in space one in the next double one in this space one in uh, the next double one in this space and two in uh, the third chain one and two we've made nine now chain three plus one we'll skip one stitch we'll make a double crochet in the next one chain one after skipping one we'll make a double crochet chain one skip one a double crochet chain one and the last double crochet will go in the third chain as usual Okay, we are here 
and now nine um, triple crochet stitches one two three four and we are making those stitches one two three in space in the space between uh, the double crochets now in the next double crochet in this space four in the next double in the space In the next one, two, three, and uh, one more in this space, and the last one in the third chain. One, two, three. So we have made nine triple crochets. Um, moving backwards to the central ring as usual with slip stitches so chain and then very loosely moving with those slip stitches not making it too tight is the most important Thing. If you do not make the same number of stitches, it's not important. This is approximate. But making them loose is important. Okay. And a couple more. Probably the last one here. Okay, we have reached the central ring. We'll make another slip stitch and one more because we are skipping one uh, single crochet here like we did here. And uh, we're making this last fourth part uh, of uh, this bow, like mirror-like. So, chain three and double crochet in one single crochet and two double crochets in the next one. Chain three plus one, because here we are going to make double crochets separated by chain one. Chain one, and a double crochet in the third chain and now a row of triple crochets so chain four and uh, here we are going to have seven triple crochets that's why we are making them in each space and in each of the four double crochets now we have four. One, two, three, five. One in this space. One, two, three. And the last one is always in the third chain. One, two, three. Okay. The base is ready. At the moment we are here and we are going to start making another round where sometimes we are going to make picots and sometimes we are just going to make uh, single crochet stitches like this and we'll also make a loop hanger on the way. So we'll start with chain one is the first single crochet stitch and chain four we are going to be making chain four for those picots. Now, because here we have a triple crochet, we are going to make, uh, we have enough room to make three picots here. 
and those picots are going to be separated by two single crochets. Chain four, two single crochets. Chain four, two single crochets. Chain four. And now we are moving to this double crochet and we'll make two single crochets here, chain four, and two more single crochets. One, two, chain four. And here we'll just make two single crochets because we don't want to uh, we don't want it to be too crowded here close to the loop hanger but if you want to um, it's easy to make one more um, uh, pick over here so we have made six so far and now we'll start making single crochets in this central ring we had four single crochets in the previous round left so we've made two here and now we'll start making a loop hanger uh, a chain uh, of uh, uh, 20, 30, 40, depending on how long you want it to be. Mm, I'll make about 35. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 and 35 and I'll continue making single crochets we have two left one and two and now we are going to kind of mirror what we did here so two single crochets here where we had a double crochet chain four two single crochets in this side double crochet chain four and two more single crochets chain four and here we'll make two single crochets chain four two single crochets in the same triple chain four and two more single crochets so here we made two single crochets four and six now chain four for this corner pico and now the next two single crochets we are making in the first of the seven triple crochets chain four and uh, two single crochets one two chain four and uh, two more one and uh, two and one more time chain four a single crochet here and another single crochet also in the corner actually we can make it here so now we have made six because here on this side and three uh, on the shorter side uh, the next uh, side will be just um, single crochets and we are going to crochet around this whole um, crochet stitch uh, with uh, slip stitches. We are going to make four single crochets around this triple crochet and we are going to make three here one two three and 
three here. One, two, three. Like this. Um, now remember we skipped uh, one uh, stitch here. We are going to make a slip stitch. One slip stitch. And now we continue making uh, single crochets on this side of this part. Once again, three where we have a double crochet. Three. Where we had a double crochet. Three more. One, two, three. Three more. One, two, three. And four around this triple crochet. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now we'll start making picots. So chain four as usual and we'll make two single crochets in the first of those triple crochets. Chain four, two more single crochets. Chain four, two more, one, two, chain four, one, two, and the chain four, a single crochet here in the corner, and another one. So we have made five. After that, we'll continue making single crochet stitches here, then move to this side. So now I have made those single crochets, four uh, around this triple crochet and three around each of the double crochets, then move right to this part without any slip stitches. So three, 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 and four. And now I'm making um, picots again. So four and uh, one and two single crochets, chain four, one and uh, two, Single crochets, chain four, one and uh, two, chain four, one and uh, two, and the uh, chain four, and uh, we are moving to this corner, and in this corner we'll make one and uh, two single crochets now once again four single crochets three 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 one slip stitch three single crochets three and four i'll uh, make this part and then uh, we'll show how to finish it off okay i'm almost done now just one short side left i have made four single crochets here, now chain four, two single crochets on the side, chain four, two single crochets, one, two, chain four, and one single crochet in this triple crochet and then the last one will be a slip stitch that we will make in this first chain which we considered to be a single crochet at the beginning of this round 
and uh, here it is the bow is ready uh, of course it needs to be starched uh, dried and ironed this is it for today thanks for watching uh, if you liked the video please uh, like it and subscribe to the channel if you want to be informed of all the new projects see you next time bye bye